Once upon a time, a long time ago, in ancient Cyprus, there lived a bold and courageous young hero named Nico. He was the son of the all-powerful god of the dead, Hades. His extraordinary power was to summon legions of the living dead due to his godly heritage. One day, Persephone came warning me that his father, Hades, had been kidnapped by the all-powerful king of the werewolves, Lycan. Oh! At once, Nico readied his special Stygian iron sword and shining bronze armor. Immediately, Nico set off on his perilous quest. He decided to get help from his stepbrothers, who had formed a camp just for the sons of Hades. As all sons of Hades can shadow travel, he was there in no time. And there stood in front of him was the most arcane place he had ever seen. All at once, at least a dozen people came charging up to him, dressed in full Greek battle armour, wielding dark, vicious swords carved in the river sticks. Eventually, he persuaded them that he wasn't an intruder. He was questing to save their father, Hades, who had been captured. Finally, he also persuaded them to know that he needed them to help. So they set off. Now, shadow traveling isn't the easiest thing in the world, as it takes a lot of power. One of Nico's brothers, Mikius, offered him a hellhound to ride. The hellhounds can also travel, seeing as they are creatures of Hades. And the hellhound led the way, and they ended up sniffing its way to the forest of horrors. They stepped in, which was a big mistake. There ahead were wolf scouts. One of the brothers slashed at the wolves, but it passed through and it didn't even feel its aim. Nico's senses finally kicked in. You can only kill werewolves for silver! <laughs> Immediately, Nico leapt off his hellhound that he was riding and embedded his sword into the ground. Immediately, the earth started to shake and then, and then a rip tore out of the ground, which made the wolf scouts plummet. They finally exited the forest of horrors, and in front of them was the most colossal place they had ever seen. It was bigger than the palace of Hades, more mysterious than Camp Hades. They stepped in, and the wolf jumped on Nico, taking him by surprise. Nico was lucky he had his brothers because they pulled it off of him and started beating him. Suddenly they heard a booming voice. You don't all son of Hades, but now it's time to go. Immediately, King Lycan himself jumped out into the clearing, out of the shadows, and thousands of his werewolf minions began to growl and snarl at their feast that had just walked straight into their very own cave. Nico instinctively stabbed his blade into the ground for a second time today, which was a record for him, and uh, the earthquake began. And then a rip tore out of the ground, but Lycan's agility was a more than a match for Nico's strength. He leapt out of the way of the split. Nico then summoned legions of the living dead, and I mean thousands of legions, to battle the ongoing werewolf menace. In a split second, the quiet, eerie cave became a bloodthirsty battleground for zombies undead versus werewolves. Two of the zombies charged at King Lycan himself, swords raised, but he roared, an angry, vicious roar, and they disappeared into dust at his feet. Nico ran at Lycan, but Lycan jumped on him, pinning him to the ground. He was just about to kill Nico when a silver blazing arrow shot him in the arm. The hunters of Artemis are here. At once, at least a dozen young women came charging in, emitting a, a luminous glowing aura, arrows notched in their bows. Um, their leader, Talia, pulled a silver hunting knife out of a sheath and ran straight towards um, Lycan and swiftly beheaded him. 
Nico ran to his father's cage, which was now melting as its creator, Lycan, had died. Hades rose more frightful than ever and banished the rest of the walls to Tartarus, where their leader now lies. Hades thanked Nico for saving him and gave him a dark, powerful shield that was almost impenetrable. The only living thing left on this living earth of Lycan was a tiny claw from his right hand. Even that began to glow with silver light and then it zoomed out of the cave entrance and became the first bright light of day. The end.